What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't took the time to subscribe, please take time to do so. Make sure you turn on post bell notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I do a new video. I will be doing a giveaway once I reach 3,000 subscribers. I am 400 subscribers away from 3,000. Once I do reach that goal, I will be doing a giveaway. The rules and requirements to win in that giveaway will be uploading a separate video upon me completing 3,000 subscribers. First, I just want to show off the shirts. It say, go away. You know, I like the, I like the little t-shirts I'm buying and whatnot. You know, today I'm back with another blog, another Vita Day, Vita Day 8. Vita Day 8. Today's video, I'm doing a story time of meeting my year anniversary of working for Franchise Christian Cream. Franchise Krispy Kreme. I came home the exact date in August that I started two years ago at Krispy Kreme. But I want to get the video out of the way this month since then. Vita Month, they gave me time to get a lot of videos out of the way. So, um, I started working at Krispy Kreme as a, as a franchise worker. You know, uh, it was one owner for all, one, one apart, Millennium, and it took a sim and one day told them. It was one owner for five stores. It was a brother and two sisters, and the head manager at my store is married to the sister, so that's how he was the owner, or part of the owner of the one that I worked that I work at and went apart. My experience working there for a year, I feel like it was a good job, a lot of fun, um, a lot of fun it made. It started me off with a decent pay rate. Uh, I grad, I was able to make a lot of overtime. When I say a lot of overtime, I'm talking about um, every Sunday. For like almost a year, then a year and a half, I was picking up an extra shift every Sunday. Every Sunday, that three to eleven shift, they could never keep. They could never keep no one to work the line. Or some of them young people was always calling off because it was always young people on that particular shift. And I was right there. Yep, I work Sunday night. You know what I mean? I always grabbed them extra shifts on Sunday. Missed the bus that would take me home. Came with other alternatives to get home. Uh, the owner, the owner always showed love. When I say show love, I lost track of how many times he paid for a Lyft or Uber for me to get from one side of town all the way to another to Krispy Kreme and went apart to to come in early on my days off or the days come the days before my shift. I would come in early. He paid for a Lyft. I paid for it. Get on a screenshot of the, what it costs in the morning. He give back to me, and the manager had me. Manager on duty would hand me money for lunch. You know what I mean? Like the pre-search was there. He was one of them kind of owners where he didn't mind coming in seven days a week and working side by side with you in any position to show you that, hey, I'm no better than you. I can do the same job that you can do. You know what I mean? That's what I like the most. I learned a lot from him because of his thinking and the way he carried himself. You know, um, met a lot of cool friends, made a lot of cool associates over the time and working for Franchise Christmas Cream made a lot of money, earned a lot of overtime, earned 40 hours was nothing. 40 hours was coming like this. You know, even during the pandemic, he still worked things out with uh with a lot of work extra hours. Uh we never got shut down. It was just an all over good job for me. I mean, I really enjoyed working as a franchise worker because it was my best opportunity. It was it was the best opportunity that was constantly growing. Constantly growing, constantly growing. I mean, it's just an ongoing process. Uh, when I first started, it took me a while to catch on because I had three employees, three veterans that worked for Christian Cream trying to teach me the same position. One guy I worked with two days a week, another guy I worked with two days a week, then the third guy I worked with one day a week. So all of them had a certain way that they wanted me to, to scale out the dough to make the donuts. You know what I mean? It was kind of confusing because Two days I'm with one guy, two days I'm with another guy, and then the one day I'm with another guy. So it's three different ways I had to remember. That's why it took me so long to catch on to how to how to make the doughs at Krispy Kreme because I had three people training me, and, and I couldn't just combine all of the all the knowledge together and and get the same result. No, I had to do it exactly the way they wanted it done. You know what I mean? Because they've been doing it for so long, so that's what I had to go with. Uh, I say working on the franchise, I worked. I got a, I got opportunity that people get fired to pick up extra hours. Uh, sometimes I ended up working a, a two man job by myself, and a lot of times wasn't a big deal because I would get my forty plus overtime. You know, a lot of things wasn't a big deal that I looked past because 
I would get my 40 and then another 10 hours of overtime every week, you know, to help me get my money up, to get my money where I wanted it to be, you know, um, got to have a lot of fun on the job, uh, the free donuts came in handy, you know, get a free dozen every day, sometimes every day, sometimes once a week, according to how I want a, a free dozen, you know what I mean, it was just an all over fun job, met a, um, a lot of extra hours to grab up, easy to learn, I learned three positions in less than six months. They helped me to make a lot of good money on the job, a lot of extra money on the job. And um, I got to say, I really enjoy working for franchise Krispy Kreme because the manager, the head, the, the head GM did not mind showing love. The owner, he did not mind coming in, showing love, giving us bonuses during the pandemic. It was just an all over good experience that, that I didn't want to see in so soon. You know what I mean? Franchise, like, I really feel this is one of my best jobs so far. As a franchise company, this is one of the best ones I've worked for so far. That was all over good experience. I gotta get Paul. If you see the video, I gotta give you the two thumbs up. I can't do it because I'm holding my selfie stick, but I gotta give you the two thumbs up. I mean, I never seen a manager like you. I never had a manager to come in and work side by side with me. I never had a manager to push me to to work harder, to to, to make extra hours, and always make me feel appreciated. Like the tips, the tips was amazing. It's the first job I just. Actually, my second job that gives tips, but this is my first job where the tips was consistent, meaning every day, $10 to $15 a day out of a five-day work week, all my money for breakfast and lunch came from tips. When you get $10 to $15 a day per worker in tips, how can you go wrong? You know, that actually saved me a lot of money that I didn't have to spend on lunch that I, that I could have used the money for my check for lunch to do other things with, you know what I mean? And it's just... It's just all over good experience, man. Like so much, so much good was going on working for a franchise. You know, working for the the Krispy Kreme franchise. So much good. All the every new donut came with a new shirt. Every holiday came with a new shirt. A new Krispy Kreme work shirt for for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Fourth of July. I mean, most of every important holiday we got a new shirt to wear. You know what I mean? We got two new shirts to wear for until the holiday was over. You know what I mean? It was just a this is an all of amazing experience, you know, which is all of amazing experience that I wish did not come to an end as quick as it did. You know, if I could choose between corporate and franchise for the rest of my life, I would choose working for a franchise company instead of corporate, you know, because things change, the rules and everything change, but I'm going to say that for another video. That's my review of working for Christian Cream Franchise. I give it a two bit thumbs up. If you like this review, this employee review, take the time to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post bell notification so you be notified every time I load a new video. If you don't like this review, take the time to go through my playlist called Reviews and find a video you like. And if you like that video, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn on post bell notification for a shout out. And my shout out video the last Sunday in August, y'all tell me in the comments, uh, have you ever worked for a franchise company? And how did you like this experience? Let me know in the comments, I'll give you a shout out. And my shout out video the last Sunday in August.